get it how I wanna get it, you don't get it I can do anything, I don't got a limit I'ma make my mind up, I'm committed It might take some time, might take a minute I won't give up, I don't give a shit I do what I want when I wanna do it Call it a power or call it a gift I call it persistence, driving some weight oh, I ain't no minute man Good things take time when I'm in it man Give me some time and I'm with a fam Now I'm gone too far from the beginning man I can teach you but you gotta listen I got lessons, all lessons to give them Think the masters are open to wishing to thinking and dreaming and cutting the ribbons oh. And they know they don't want it more than me I work hard to call it a disease I work hard so I can go be free But I don't work for anyone but me So bout five is our title bout, one of our title bouts tonight for the SM Fight Club title. Liam Lydiard in the pink corner and the white shorts. Brandon Burton, the blue corner with the blue and gold trim shorts. Big support for both young men here, Liam and Brandon, for this title bout. They touch gloves and immediately Brandon came forward. Liam ducked the shot through his own left back. Brandon looking to assert his authority, but good movement and countering by Liam. Referee's going to say to them, tied it up, and again, Liam ducks under that left of Brandon, and Brandon's looking for the big right, but he holds it low at his waist. And Liam, ducking, rolling and throwing style, will look to capitalise on that low right hand that Brandon holds. That said, if he lands it, and that's what Brandon's looking to do, plant his feet and just land the big shots. Liam looking to respond that over the top. As I said, that roll and throw style, and Brandon, you can see, plants his feet and looks for every shot to take your head off, which can leave you exposed. Liam laughed there as Brandon came in with these big shots. But the adage is make them miss, make them pay. Because one of those shots might get through when he makes Brandon miss, Liam's got to counter. Because Brandon is looking to take him out with every single shot here. Now, as you can see, Liam sees a lot of them coming, but he steps away out of range himself. So he's not countering when he makes his opponent miss. And again, you can see Brandon's intent is to take his head clean off with that big right hand and he clips Liam this time. And that's the danger when you're not countering. Eventually the right hand is going to land. There's the counter. That's what you need to do. He did it right at the end of the round. And that's the danger for Brandon, is the counters to these big shots. The danger for Liam is that if he's not countering enough and gets caught by one of these big right hands, sets it up beautifully for round two. Corners, please. Second up for round two. So, Liam and Brandon, similar pattern. Brandon comes out looking for the big shots again with that right hand. Caution to the wind, non-stop attack. And now Liam looks to respond. You can see why Brandon's got a following, the excitement that he'll cause, but again, you can see every shot there it will take him off balance if he misses, but when he lands, he backs Liam up immediately. And this is the thing, this is what makes this bout so exciting. So a jab finally from Brandon, as he looks to set up that big right hand again, and they clash heads there. 
And that big right hand out of range. Brandon takes a deep breath. He's put a lot of effort into this. And again, Liam looks to respond, but he's been caught by that right hand. And he lands it again, and here's the thing. Now, Liam's going to get a count here in the second. And in a way, you can't blame Spencer. He's not firing back. Make him miss, make him pay. So he's got a lot of work to do now as Brandon continues the same pattern of just firing forward. And finally, Liam lands cleanly and Brandon takes a step back and fires again. As I said, they've both brought a lot of support here. And Brandon just will not be denied. He just keeps coming forward. And I think there's going to be a second count here for Liam. He's not happy about it, but it's the sheer work rate of Brandon here in the second round. So third and final round and I think Liam's corner are upset about the counts they're saying he wasn't hurt but he wasn't throwing anything back either and that's the problem got to make him miss make him pay Brandon's been coming in just throwing caution to the wind and throwing the heavy shots and Liam's got to respond I mean Brandon is wide open for the counters when he's off balance from missing but Liam's got to throw those counters And again, Brandon just firing the big shots. He stood in the pocket, he's thrown non-stop. And as I said, Liam's corner have been upset about the counts. But again, look, he's got to fire back. Brandon's just kept pushing forward. And as I said at the beginning of the bout, if enough of them round, you'll score, land, you'll score the points. And that's what's happening for him. As much as he's off balance and missing, Brandon's also landing, as he's doing here again, with these big, big shots. He stuck to his guns, he stuck to his style, and he's going to take this title. He's tired, but he's done enough. There's the big right hand. Can he do enough in these last seconds of the bout, Liam, before Brandon just fires left and right handed again, pushing forward. And now he's off balance. Liam really has to capitalise with a clean shot. But Brandon just keeps the punches coming. So last 10 seconds, and that's all the inspiration Brandon needed to fire forward again. It's not been pretty, but it's been effective. And key moments have brought the big counts. So you've got to go with the blue corner for that belt in this bout. So for me, those counts are the difference in favour of the blue corner. I'm certain we'll get the nod here. Those counts made all the difference. He stuck to his gun, stuck to his game plan and took the win.
this was for an SM Fight Club title. So I'll give it up for Brandon Burton, who is now SM Fight Club Middleweight Champion. Also, obviously, give it up for Liam, who gave him absolute all. Tend to be a birthday one, but I just got to say what a wall that was between both of you. Talking in a press conference, we said about the bout, then it wasn't worthy of a bout. I tell you what, what's your thoughts? That, that fight was definitely oh, a great well. fight, man. Good fight. I don't know why the ref stopped me twice. That was a bit bullshit, but it won't fair and square, man. Fair play to it. Hold well on, man. Good fight. Cheers, bro. Uh, any comments for yourself before you? You did good. Anything you do that well? You good. I'm proud of that. We're going to see a rematch sometime in the future. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Congratulations. Cheers. Congratulations.